let's go. Looks like a nice, even race. Renault leads us in. Here comes the challenger. He looks to the outside and it gets squirrely. The Renault trying to run away. And look at the challenger lengthening out a little bit. Pretty simple, pretty clean challenge. Welcome back, race fans, to Poverty Hollow ADCR and the Fantasy League, and it has been a long, long time since we launched back into this. When we left off, we had just established the win with that Renault RS01, and now we are doing the Classics Division, which is the eight cars you see before you. They're already set up in the groups, of course, picked as usual by the random name picker wheel. So our first group will have the Ferrari F355 Challenge, next to him the 4 GT, the Acura NSX GT, and the Corvette C6R rounding out that group. And in group two we have the Mercedes CLDTM with the McLaren F1 GTR, both of those being wheel swapped premiums. We have the Supra GT and finally the Saline S7R, a casting that just does not seem to get any limelight whatsoever. If this sounds a little odd, if it looks a little odd, we are using new camera equipment. Isn't that fancy? <laughs> so hopefully that will, uh, how would you say, uh, enhance our experience here with the viewership and everything like that. Hopefully it looks smoother. Uh, the rules as resuming as it was previous, we are going to be doing four car groups, standard points apply, and then finally whenever it gets down to the finalist of each group, they verse each other in traditional Poverty Hollow head-to-head -head racing, and the winner from all eight of these cars gets to face off against that Renault for the ultimate champion of this GT Class Division racing. Are you guys ready for this? I am excited as hell. It is time to get back on track. And immediately up in the starting block, we have our first four cars, Ferrari, Ford GT, it's not a good combo, the NSX and the Corvette on the outside. This is race one. And we are off. Ferrari taking an early lead. They are stretching out single file. Looks like the NSX is giving the Ferrari a hell of a run. Here comes the GT to round it out. And of course the Corvette spins and loses control. We're gonna try something else a little different also. Check it out, a live scoreboard. Here's the cars, here are their scores as it runs. Back up in the blocks, it is race two. The grid has rotated once. We have the 4GT leading us off the NSX on his outside, Ferrari 355 in the back, and Corvette on back outside. Off we go. 4GT with the Ferrari with a nice epic pass. Corvette takes over the NSX. 
the GT spins, gets tagged. And the NSX, will he break the plane? No, he will not. Shaping up to be a fantastic series, we have before us the NSX, the Corvette, Ford GT, and the Ferrari. On back outside. There we go again. NSX leads us in. We lost the Ferrari. Corvette with a pass, and that gets bullied to the outside by the Ford. Here comes the Ford. Hits the NSX. Corvette with the finish. And what on earth happened to... The Ferrari. Vano Race puts us with the Corvette in pole position, the Ferrari on his outside, the NSX at his back, and the Ford GT on back outside. Let's go. Corvette leads us in, NSX taking second. It's a good race. Corvette maintaining the lead, but, oh, the Ferrari with the spin. The Ford GT overtakes the Ferrari at the last second. And as you see from our points board, the top two advance, and it's a lucky thing for them because it was a tie. Otherwise, it would have been a race off. So it's the Ferrari. Congratulations to you. Don't want to get in my own light there. And the NSX that both get to move on. Pretty awesome stuff. All right. That means on to group two. And group two comes into play on the pole. Mercedes CL DTM. On his outside, the McLaren F1. In the back, the Supra GT. And back outside, we have the Saline S7R. This is it. Let's go. Leading us in, it's NSX in the Supra. Supra spins, gets plowed by the McLaren. The McLaren decides to take off again. It's a Mercedes running away with that victory. McLaren finishes second, completely uncontested. Here's our saline. And of course the Supra taking the high dive. And race two sets us up. McLaren on the pole, saline on his outside. The Mercedes move to the back and Supra on back outside. Off we go. Who's it going to be this time? McLaren leads us in, but it is a three-car tight-knit group with the Saline coming out ahead. This is the race right here. Saline with the win. The McLaren falls off. Don't know what that was about. And uh, we lost the Supra somewhere. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? It seems as though that the first group certainly had more of their shit together than these guys. Saline on the pole, Supra, a very maligned car on the outside. Perhaps the shove he's about to receive from the Mercedes will help him get his stuff in order. McLaren on the back outside, and of course, aforementioned Mercedes in the back and outside. It is race three. Saline and Supra, Super with the pass. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Another good tight race down to the finish. It is Supra with the win. And the McLaren brings up the rear.
final race and possibly a moment of pure strategy for the Supra as we look at him. He is on the advantageous inside line, and if he can get ahead of that Mercedes, possibly he could stay out front and garner the much-needed points he needs. On his back, the Saline S7R, also hoping to ride that wave to success. McLaren on back outside. Super with a nice lead. Saline taking over on the Mercedes. A nice healthy block. Mercedes with a final charge at the line. We will have to review to see who got second place there. Nice race. And after review for, oh, I don't know, quite a few minutes actually, I'm decided to award Saline, actually, with that second place finish. But man, was that, that has to be one of the tightest finishes I have ever seen on this track. Just some wild ass crazy racing. So there we go. The two cars moving on. Mercedes DTM. Once again, trying not to get in my own light. And the Saline. S7R, great racing, and now we shall have our final single group. And here is our final four group. So we had the 355 Challenge, the NSX GT, the Mercedes CLDTM, and the Saline S7, rounding out the top four. Points will be doled out in the next video. I just kind of ran short on time, and I wanted to get this out to you guys as quick as possible we'll catch you guys soon with the next video final four and then the final showdown see you soon peace